Okay, uh, this is the tutorial number two for Cisco ACI configuration. But last video, then first slide, I shown you guys, like I told, I promised you guys like how to configure tenant and breach domain and EPG context and BRF. But this is I'm gonna do in third video. The reason is because in order to do tenant and rest of the configuration, we need to have our infrastructure and policy set up first. So this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create one more profile, which is called, so in order to create this profile, I'm gonna go fabric, access policy. Once I click access policy, then I'm gonna go global policy, and this is called attachable access entity policy. So attachable access entity policy means that whenever we attach any server, right? Remember the last video that I attached one server. So we're gonna create for on custom profile from here. So server is gonna bind it because server is gonna be part of EPG group and EPG is gonna link it somehow is bridge domain. So we're gonna attach this thing and bridge domain somehow. So so before I attach that, I wanted to configure first. And before I configure this thing, I wanted to mention one more thing. If I go admin and it says show API inspector, so every click I do in GUI, it's a lot of API is going on back and forth. This is the debug. For example, if I click in system, and if I debug, look what is going on in background. So this is nothing is like JSON. JSON is called Java object. Notation is a light version of uh, JavaScript. And I'm not gonna talk about anything JavaScript this busy as far so, uh, so far I know, but this is the background we want. So once we have a like Python and JavaScript and REST API, not bound and southbound API, this section I'll talk about like where you can use Java, where you can use like JSON, which case you have to use it. But somehow we have to know a little bit JSON, Python, REST API. But unfortunately, the most of the engineer I talked about this programming, they said, no, I'm not gonna learn for programming. And because programmer, they have no idea what is TCP IP. And we as a network engineer, we have no clue what is the code. So here's the best scenario I always give people. So think about when first time the T voice over IP phone introduced to the industry. The guy who was doing in manually voice over IP phone line in your house, he just hook up his analog signal. He never thought that his phone line will carry out one day by TCP IP. So the guy who's doing like analog, but he never thought he's gonna learn networking. So he said, no, I'm not gonna learn networking. And how come it's possible my, the voice is gonna take, IP packet is gonna basically carry my voice, voice uh, traffic, there's no way. So same thing like with network engineer, we are thinking why do we have to learn programming? So if you ask nowadays any voice over IP engineer, say, hey, do you know IP address? Yes, he will say, yes, I know IP address. My every phone has an IP address. So this is the we have to get used to, even though like we hate programming, but because of the cloud automation, and this this is a separate session I'm gonna talk about, but somehow guys, we have to involve in this programming and API, even though we're not gonna learn, we're not gonna write program for programmer, but the same scenario for TCP IP or voice over IP phone example that I gave you, we have to know it. So I think this is enough. So in order to create this policy, what we have to do, we have to go fabric, then click, click access policy. Then you have to click global policy and attachable access entity profile. Just click over here and I'm gonna click action and the create attachable access entity profile click over here and this is i'm gonna call let's say what this is for let's say i'm gonna for uh engineering department i'm gonna say engineer 
in let's say I'm gonna say call IT department. I'm gonna name it IT dash department. I say IT department, something like that. Then you have to create you know what this name probably already exists so this value field is in value let's call it okay let's call it and description is optional so you don't have to and enable infrastructure VLAN. and this is the advanced feature one but this profile i'm not going to enable this uh, infrastructure VLAN right now so later section i'm going to explain to you what is infrastructure VLAN and what case you have to do it so right now it's a domain and VM and physical external to be associated with this interface. So this is basically you have to create a domain for BMM for virtual machine and physical VM metal server or any other workstation. So in order to do that, I have to go to the plus symbol and this is a predefined one, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna cho choose this time predefined one. I'm gonna create a create physical domain Right, I can do layer two, layer three, but this time I'm gonna do, since this is a layer one attachable device, so I'm gonna create physical link. So now it's a specify the domain name and B VLAN pool. So let's say I'm gonna say pool. I'm gonna say let's say again call IT. then so VLAN pool there's so many options VLAN pool this is static or, or I'm gonna create a new one I'm not gonna choose the default one so I'm gonna say create pool then I'm gonna say identity I'm gonna say same name I'm gonna say IT and there's a two options there's a description is hey allocation method you're gonna dynamically allocate or static this case let's say I'm gonna choose static so then I have to click this plus symbol and here is a VLAN range, right? What VLAN I want to do? So I'm going to say VLAN, what? 50 to 50, only one VLAN. So this is a range. So then I'm going to say static allocation. I'm going to say OK. And there is a VLAN 50 and there's a static allocation that I'm going to say submit. Now, if I scroll down, you should see my this is a tenant A, tenant B. This is a default one, guys, because I haven't configured custom tenant yet. So that's the pretty much it is. So I'm going to say submit. So now then you have to say update. So and see, this is a physical domain name is called IT. That's the VLAN 50 encapsulation. I'm going to say next. Now, if you scroll down, you should see your profile name over here that we just configured we configured switch 101 102 and this is the 1 slash 15 this is our server connected i did in last video so here's the three option it says select interface i'm going to say specify you can specify over here again in the plus symbol you can do more customized but this is not our customization video so anyway i'm going to cancel i'm going to leave it right now none I'm going to say finished. So once you do that, so it's going to show up over here. You see the IT right here. It says IT. The infrastructure VLAN we have an enable here. That's the reason it's saying false. And this is will be your like policy group. So we don't have anything and description leave it blank. So next time when you attach any server, you basically attach this profile to the server. It's going to belong to which bridge domain. So it's going to come in handy. So this is the all about for attachable access policy. And there's a lot in Cisco ACI because it's a pretty big domain. So if I go one by one, it's going to take almost like, I don't know, for two, three days to explain because there's a lot of policy. So if I go line by line, it's going to take way, way long time. There's a BGP VLAN, BXLAN. So I hope you guys already know this. This is a prerequisition, right, for us because we are shifting one traditional network into cloud automation. So thank you for watching this video. So if you like my video, please uh, also subscribe in YouTube. 
you can click the link below to subscribe